Hey. Hey, hey what's Hello. up? Um, Hello. My name is Austin. I'm from Yukon EC. Do you guys mind if you show me around your school a little bit? Not at all. Let's go. Sure. Where are we right now? Right now, we are in the atrium, which is at the center of the school. And we are able to see all the floors from here. This awesome. The main entrance. Oh, wow. So there's three floors? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got three floors and they're basically pretty circular since we're a small school, about 600 to 700 students. Um, so we got, as we said, three floors, pretty circular. You can pretty much see most of the classrooms just from here. And then some go back there as well. Oh, cool. Uh, what, what school are we at? We are at the Academy of Information Technology and Eng Engineering, located in Stanford, Connecticut. Usually shortened to AITE, since mm -hmm. that's a mouthful. <laughs> AITE, cool. All right. Uh, what are your two names? Uh, my name is Chris Burke. And I am a senior here at AITE. Awesome. I'm Ayusha Gautam. I am also a senior here at AITE. Very cool. And uh, do both of you take UConn EC? Yes. I take a few classes right now, and I've taken a couple in the past as well. Cool. As do I. I, I take a bunch of classes this year, and I took a few last year as well. Uh, what, what kind of courses would you say? Um, right now, I'm in Yukon American Government, as well as Yukon ECE uh, American Literature. Cool. Um, I'm in Yukon Biology, as well as Yukon American Government, and Yukon Literature. So where are we headed to now? So we are taking you to the Yukon ECE environmental science class right now, which is over in our science wing here. Okay, so what, what class is this? This is Yukon ECE environmental science. It was a class that I took last year and it's very fun. We learn a lot about the environment right now. They are doing a lab mm -hmm. um, looking at house pollution. Very cool. Uh, let me see if I can ask them what, what they're working on right now. Okay. Okay. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hello. Uh, sorry to bother you, but um, what, what you working on? We are working on a lab. Uh, so what we're doing here is we are seeing the particulate matter in our homes. So we, what we did is we examined a fireplace. So we have a control and then we put one test one foot away from the fireplace and one test 10 feet away from the fireplace and we were seeing how much particulate matter are on all three very scientific thank you all right yeah thank thanks you. all right so where are we walking to now so we're going to show you the first county bank that we actually have set up at our school one thing that ait is really good at is giving a lot of work experience and other opportunities to our students and one example of this is students who are able to actually work at the bank during school hours so oh. we have someone right over there. Cool. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, if you don't mind asking, well, what do you do at, at the bank? Well, basically here at this branch, at the ATE branch, we do transactions and we learn all about how the bank works, especially using their program and um, their computer system that we have set up here. Cool. And, and kids can just uh, make an account here um, or? Kids can basically come in and all they need is their parents' permission and they're able to sign up once they're 16 or older, they're able to sign up with us through this branch. Oh, awesome. Thank cool. you. Thanks. So this is the guidance suite and inside we can find a guidance counselor and she'll get, give us information about our ECE courses. Cool. So come awesome. On in. Hi, Ms. Cantonis. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi. Uh, is it alright if I ask you a couple questions about UConn EC? Sure, absolutely. Sure. Uh, so, how many EC courses do you think IE, ITE uh, offers? Um, I think we have a, uh, about 9 to 10 classes that we offer here at the school. And they're a variety, so they're in all subjects. Okay, awesome. Um, and I also heard that your school does like A, B, A days and B days. Um, what was that about? Um, so we do, we offer a block schedule, um, rotating block, so four classes on one day and four different classes on the following day and they just keep um, rotating that way. Oh, okay. So 80 minute periods, um, 30 minutes for lunch, mm -hmm. um, but it, it, it gives the students a feeling of uh, like what a typical college course would feel like, the length of time. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that they're better prepared when they leave here. Oh yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah. All right. 
Awesome. Thanks for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Have a good day. So here is our media center. Uh, a lot of students like to work here during either um, uh, their free periods or other times. So as wow. you can see, we've got a cool dome shape. That's really cool. The media center and the teacher's lounge is actually right up there. So you can see some of the teachers working from up there. Mm -hmm. And down here is where all of us students work. So we've got uh, a lot of resources around. Many of us work on our laptops because a lot of our work is digital. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you guys have any like uh, tutoring programs or anything like that? Yes, we do. We actually have a National Honor Society. And what happens is on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays after school, we provide tutoring to um, any underclassmen, anyone really who needs help in their subjects. Okay, so we're at the Academy of Information Technology and Engineering. Uh, do you guys specifically focus on engineering? Uh, yeah, we have a lot of special resources for engineering in particular. That's not to say that we only do engineering or we force all our students to do engineering, but engineering is something that students can choose to do. We have what's called a sort of engineering branch. Uh, for now, yeah. I can talk sort of about engineering. So over here are some designs that the civil engineering class has made for various houses and other structures that we showcase here. And in one of these rooms right now, I believe we have a class on computer automated design with an engineering cool. teacher, so we'll see if we can get in. Thank you very much. So you can come right in here. So in a class like this, they're do, uh, students do a lot of engineering work, like we can see on the screens right there. They're doing some 3D modeling, certain designs, like over here, they use, they make sketches on the, on the paper, and then they make them into designs into uh, what's called a program called AutoCAD, or Computer Automated Design. And yeah, you can look at that right there. And what they can actually do is once they're done making their creations, is they can actually 3D print these with some of the 3D printers that we have around our school. And that's been very cool to do. I'm part of the engineering program personally, and it's been a very fun experience okay. and very uh, preparatory experience. Okay. And you want to do you want to continue on with engineering? Yeah, I'm actually planning on being a biomedical engineer when I go to college, uh, then for my career afterwards. Okay. Cool. Awesome. All right. So uh, thanks for taking the time to show me around today. Uh, I had a lot of fun. No I think problem. that's all. Uh, Fifty-five questions. So, yeah, you guys got to head to class. So, yep. see you. Uh, thank you. Bye. Bye.